all across the world regardless of the difference in culture or geography. There appears to be tales of ancient dragons having once roamed the land in nearly every nation. This could very well be evidence of the large serpent-like creatures having once existed all across the world, only to be driven to extinction by native populations. One recent photograph that's been making the rounds on crypto pages is this one. Not much information can be found about the image, but it's said that a man discovered this strange skull deep inside a cave in Romania. He said that littered all around the skull was what appeared to be large bones, but wanting to get out of there he quickly grabbed the skull and left. After posting photographs of the skull on social media many people were skeptical about the discovery. One of the interesting things about this discovery is that it does look genuine, with one person saying the following. Every year we are discovering new species of animals that went extinct millions of years ago. There's certainly no shortage of dragon stories, and what's odd is that these were shared by people who lived in different countries and wouldn't have had contact. The Chinese dragon and the European dragon are perhaps some of the more well-known ones. So who's to say that these legends and tales aren't based on facts? End quote. Scientists though have said that as of today we have found no proof of dragons existing, and that the most likely answer is that people of the past were confusing other animals for dragons. For example, going back many years ago it was suggested that you could occasionally find the tip of a dragon's tongue on the beach. This caused people to start going on beaches for the sole purpose of trying to find a dragon's tongue tip. It turned out though that what people were picking up were actually ancient megalodon teeth, a huge ancient shark that would have been the apex predator of the oceans during its time, as it's estimated this giant grew between 50 and 65 feet and had a bite force stronger than Tyrannosaurus rex. Others who saw this image went down a different route and suggested that the skull is in fact real, but people are misidentifying what they're seeing. This skull likely belongs to that of a mosasaur, a large marine reptile that used to swim in our oceans millions of years ago. Their remains are commonly found in countries such as that of Morocco that have rich deposits of these types of fossils. What most likely happened here is that this is partly a real skull, and then someone had restored the rest of it to bring it back to life. It's interesting to see these restorations, and although this one might not be 100% anatomically correct, you can see how someone hundreds or thousands of years ago could confuse this for a dragon. Regardless, there's no shortage of dragon stories that have been shared in recent years. One of the strangest mysteries found across England is that of the legends surrounding the existence of a number of water dragons believed to have been located around Sussex referred to only as the Knuckers. The Knuckers were rumoured to have lived in small ponds and lakes known as Knucker Holes, and were supposedly responsible for the destruction of smaller villages, the disappearance of individuals devouring and tearing apart livestock, and infesting areas across England. This led to a number of local kings devising ways to have the dragons slain and completely eradicated in population by using knights as hunters to hunt down and slay the creatures in different reported villages and nearby bodies of water. A number of legends have formed from these supposed knuckers, and different variations in how the dragons were slain or outwitted have become popular folklore across smaller villages in England, leaving credence to the legends regardless of where they derive from. This has left many wondering if it was truly a larger species of megafauna capable of being portrayed as a dragon that lived in and around England infesting certain villages. Many researchers point to large day lizards such as that of the Komodo dragon, of whom have ancestral megafauna cousins that commonly fit the description of the Knuckers, and would have had their natural habitats in ponds and other bodies of water. These species would also have a very small population given that their ancestral cousin the Komodo dragon is capable of generating offspring from just a single member of the species. However, as many have pointed out, England is not known to have any creatures that would match the Nuggers. Others then have suggested that the story is a hoax, but one of the issues with this statement is that we have a tombstone as proof that something happened. 
following mysteries surrounding the legends of the Knuckers and other dragon-like stories across England. The rumours surrounding the Slayer Slab continues to be one of the centre of stories of folklore surrounding that of a knight slaying the last Knucker found in England. According to the story, the King of Sussex believed that the Knuckers living nearby their collection of villages was becoming far too powerful for any man to defeat. This led him going to a wide variety of knights in the hopes that a small army could be formed, but no man was willing to fight for the king to slay such a beast. It was not until the King of Sussex offered his daughter's hand in marriage that a single knight came to the king of hopes of defeating the dragon and wedding the Princess of Sussex, of which normally would have been an impossible ceremony to perform as knights were prevented from being romantically connected with royal figures. The knight would go on to slay the dragon when finding it residing in a small pond referred to as Knucker Holes. This was located near Liminster, earning the title of the Slayer after accomplishing such a feat. After the beast was defeated, the knight returned to marry the daughter and later settled down in Liminster for the rest of his natural life. The Slayer would later pass away in the town and would lead to the rumours of the Slayer's Lamp an unmarked gravestone located at a church in Liminster that has no name or markings on the tombstone except for that of a cross overlaying a herringbone pattern that led many people to believe it's the grave of the slayer that defeated the last dragon of England. So what do you make of these interesting stories? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.